All right, let's say goodbye to Matilda. Bye, Matilda. <laughs>
Oh, let's go see, look. Look, we have a Winnebago. There you go. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? They put the new fan in for me. Oh, look at that. Look at that, yay! <laughs> nice. Oh, it's the reverse. Very nice. Okay. Look at my new home. <laughs> oh my God, look at this. This is home, what do you think? Look, what do you think? Oh my God. The bathroom is a little old and funky. It's really weird. Everything is so nice, and the bathroom is old and funky. He had to replace that and seal it. It was leaking a little bit, but he sealed it. My new bed. Oh, look at this. <laughs> wow. Look at my new home. I can't believe it. It's like a palace. <laughs> How's this for a view out my front door? My old home and my new home. And we're gonna do a little walkthrough. We did a really thorough walkthrough the other day, uh, but now he's just gonna kind of show me a few more things and uh, wanted to get this on film to show you because these guys have been awesome. So this is Mike. Hi. And this is? Dan. Denny? Daniel. Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel at Ma and Pa RV. And uh, Mike is the RV tech who has made this thing perfect for me. Thank you. And we're getting ready to, you know, walk through it. So, you notice you got your automotive and coach circuit breakers. Okay. Your, and your solenoid and relays. Okay. You really should never have to get into those. But if you start having an electrical problem. Okay. Um, check your batteries first. And if those are fine, you may have to come into there. Okay. I have two batteries in this coach. Yay. That's so exciting. <laughs> this is where your furnace sits. <laughs> Capone's made himself at home. <laughs> hey. Oh, you found a pot to lick. Okay, go ahead. You can have it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Regular storage. Okay. Look at all the oh. storage. And this is a prop that you sit in there. Okay. Um, oh. You need to get your keys. If we open this up, this is an outside stereo system. Oh my god. You have outlets, outlets. 12 volt. Okay. Uh, that way you can hook up a TV out here for satellite and speaker. So now I can be one of those people that I complain about. <laughs> <laughs> your water heater. Oh, careful. Do you have any idea how big the tank is? Six, it, six gallon usually? This is a six gallon tank. Okay. This right here lets you know exactly how much gallons it does have. Oh, okh great. Oh, wow. It actually even still has the labels. I'm telling you, I'm coming into a new century. Are you going to rename this one or is it Matilda too? No, I'm going to rename it. I'm going to leave the curse of Matilda behind with this. <laughs> oh. oh, he does that. <laughs> he, just, he needs attention. More storage. More storage. And the refrigerator thingies, it looks yep, like. That's Perfect. exactly what those are. Okay. Nice. Of course, more storage. This is where your outside shower's at. I love the fact that I have an outdoor sh Look at, oh, you're gonna hate it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hate it. We have an outdoor shower, I can't wait. Okay. Oh, careful. Come on, bud. Come on. This is your... Fresh water. Fresh water fill. Were we, were we able to verify the tank sizes or are you sticking with your 60 gallon? Sticking with my 60 gallon. Okay, wow. 60 gallon sounds big. I only have 30 now. But, there okay, perfect. Of course, you know, you got your ladder. 
It does. It is equipped with a small tow bar, so if you want to pull a trailer behind you. Okay. Not a car. Not a car. Okay. Uh, actually, you could pull a car. Uh, this is a actual real hitch, so you can pull a vehicle behind you. Um, the smaller ones are the ones, the, the small squares are the ones for the trailers. Oh, okay. So you really can't actually pull a car behind you. This is your seven way and this is your four way. So whichever you choose. What does that mean? Seven um, way, what is that? Those are your plugs. So when you hook up a trailer. For you, your lights and stuff. For your lights and everything. Okay. What's this? Oh, it was something. That was just something that they added on. Okay. Um, now one of the things you could do I don't know if Matilda had one. Uh, you can get a rack that'll sit on here that gives you some extra storage and you can put stuff up on it. Yeah. Your fuel. It locks, nice, okay. You said it's 50 gallon tank, yep. which is what I have now. So your, when you start your generator up, all right, you actually have to plug in to get your power. Right. All right. Um, of course, this is your black and your gray. There's your tank lead down there. Okay. Yep, you know all about that smell. <laughs> so. You that, open it up. Oh, okay. So my hose will come up through the bottom. Yep. That's a little bit of a different configuration. Okay. You just all right. Spin that off and you can drop everything. Okay. Same as on here. There is a hole right here uh -huh. that you can drop everything down. Oh, nice. That way you don't have to have your compartments oh, open. Oh, really nice. Okay. And uh, he said you, you're you going to give me a set of hoses and everything. I already got everything okay. over there. I just, Perfect. I have it all in a bucket for you. You're back to your refrigerator. Okay. I'm familiar with that. Your propane tank. And my generator. And your generator. Cool. It's a big propane tank. <laughs> and you actually have... It was three quarters. I, I was gonna say, yeah, it's about three quarters. Nice. In there right now. Is, is there any water in it? Am uh, I gonna need to go get water? There should actually be some fresh water. Okay. In it. I usually like to keep. Oh it. yeah, that's right. I can. I forgot. I have sensors that actually work. Yep. Actually, the only one that works in there is my fresh water. In yours? Yeah. Matilda? Okay. So now we'll walk here to the inside. Baby, it just pull that out. This pulls out? Yep, that top one pulls out, just pops out. I know, it's like super hard. I tried the other day too. Take it, there you go. Let's pry the sucker open. Mm -hmm. Okay, on. I'm gonna need like a tool there to do, well, not that I should be opening it a lot. A lot head screwdriver should well, do Well, actually, trick. yeah. you may want to. That way you can do your battery maintenance. That's true. So, because these are six bolts, you do want to check the water. Oh, they're only six? Oh, excuse me, 12, 12 bolts. Okay, yeah, um, so I need to check the water. So right. that way you can check the water in these. Okay. Um, if things go well for you, I would suggest, because these are 10, 16, they're, less, they're, they're just barely a year old. I would suggest in maybe about a year mm -hmm. to upgrade to maintenance-free batteries. Yeah. They are a lot better for the coaches. Yeah, okay. I almost a lot bought, easier for you. I almost bought those for this, but the way I go through batteries, because I'm not charging consistently, I decided just to go with the cheap ones. Well, the nice thing is this one has a solar. Right, so it'll pretty much stay charged. A weather band radios. Oh! So, we'll turn it on. I was trying to find the little weather station. I got a weather station in here the other day when I okay. was testing them. So that'll be nice when I'm out without a cell signal or anything. I can check on the weather. Yeah. Sweet. Huh. That's pretty cool. Steps on and off. Your porch light. Your ceiling lights. Okay. In an outlet. Of course, you got your little extra counter right. space there. Your fire extinguisher there. So explain this to me. So this All is right. basically, I'm probably never going to use this as a boondocker dry camper. This is basically uh, if you're going to store it and you just correct. want to shut everything off. Correct. Okay. Okay. Yep. You want to leave that on. <clears throat> if you are out of it for any length of time, go ahead and pop it off because you do have a solar charger up there. Oh. Actually, no. Don't turn it off because you have a solar charger up there. That way it'll slowly keep everything charged. Once you turn that off, it cuts everything. all power, including the solar. 
Okay. Because in other words, the solar it, it, the solar's there, but it won't charge because you oh. disconnected the battery from everything. Got it. Oh, you, okay. Your engine battery actually also has a cutoff on it. So it's on the negative side. So you can lift it up okay. to if you're in storage for some reason. Okay. You want to save that. Okay. You got your ceiling light panel right here. Okay. Fancy ceiling with lights. That, with your one little light. Okay. Of course, these lights. Yep. Uh, you have your satellite, which if you don't watch TV, there's no point in having a satellite. Nope. Now you can see how, I mean, such big storage. I of know. Of course, she already saw all that. Yep. Um, you are going to keep the inverter. There's a small inverter. So just the TV was here, but it, and I had him take it out. So, the, okay, go. Open that up. So there's a small inverter oh, right there. Oh, okay. Uh, for if you don't want to use any, if you're not plugged in, but you want to charge something up. Yeah. Simply turn it on. Sweet. And it will provide power. Nice. Okay. All right, so I don't have to pull the one out that I have in my rig. Okay, more storage. More storage, they put cabinets. Now this one's a tricky one, all right? You have to... Look at that, how fancy. It took me a while to figure out how to open this one. <laughs> I bet, I, oh yeah, I would have broke it. I would have pried it open and it just would have broke it. Lot. I love all this cabinet. More storage. That's so awesome. Yes, these speakers do work. I know. I already listened to some music. <laughs> Chris, you already know about your AC and your heat. Yep. And everything. AC and the heat, and they both work. Um, your refrigerator. It's already I already on. turned it on. Yeah. It's got gas going in here. Yep. You got your 12 volt little outsource there. This one does actually have a water filtration system in it. Oh my gosh. And it has <gasps> an extra filter. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. <laughs> All right. That way you can have good, nice, clean water when you're hooked up to some of those bad places. Well, uh, yeah, and I always, I just use Brita filter pitchers. I never drink it, so that's awesome. Okay. Of course, all your spare drawers. We already looked at your stove. The stove works. We already tested that. I already, there's stuff in there already. Okay, yeah. awesome. Um, your generator. You know how, Look you, how uh, fancy this is. Look at how fancy. <laughs> So you hold this, you press the stop button on here until that comes on. Oh. Oh. If it doesn't fire right away, come back over, hit the stop button again until that comes on. Uh oh. Sounds like it's trying. My new one, I just had that same issue. What it is, is it hasn't been started in just a little bit. We had it running just like yeah, two days I know. ago. It just takes a little bit. Okay. Don't. It's no, been cold. The, the, Let's yeah. say it's been cold. <laughs> they, they all actually do that. Even yeah. my, my new ones okay. and my Outlook that I'm actually pulling power from right now. Yeah. They all, I go through the same process. My portable one is sometimes I can't, it just, it, it won't even start some mornings. And so I'll try it, I'll try it, I'll try it, and I'll leave it for an hour and I'll go back and it'll start right up. So. Of course you they get your like water cold. heater. Right. Your level test. And right now, yes, you do have a full thing of fresh water. Oh my God, I'm good to go. And your water pump does nice. work. Fan, light, light, and a nice microwave. We didn't check that. We didn't test the microwave. Microwave does work. We'll do a, yeah. Awesome. All right. Cancel that out. Push your speakers, your AC. You don't, this was a little, set up for the TV. Yeah. Because you had a TV here and this is where the VCR was. Oh, okay. Um, so you can either use it as a small storage area, ceiling light. Nice. Those lights do work. Okay. Hang on. Great. Your fan. Nice. New Good. blade. Um, okay, I'm seeing a, a gap. Oh yeah, that's not good. Oh, hang on a second here. No. That's Let not, me go up and check that. That's not gonna work. No, nope, you're right, it will not, it will leak quickly. Very quickly.
This is your solar charging control. Right. Your solar charging control and then your tank heaters. Right. In case, so the tank heaters are, if I'm in below freezing weather, I can turn these on and they will keep the tanks from freezing. How cool is that? So much for my video about putting blankets on everything. Is all the wiring for this must be behind it? Yep, it is all tucked in right through here. Okay. Run straight up and it goes to your solar panel up on top. So if I wanted to run more solar, because I have 300 watts, I'll have to figure that out. Um, you can either do it directly to your batteries. Probably what I'll do. Okay. All right. Your breakers. Breakers and fuses. Nice. Wow. Oh, there's the. That's the solar one right there. Yep. Okay. All right. Your propane detector. Oh, good. Does it work? Yes. Nice. Okay. Wired. So there's no battery. No, there's no battery. It is hardware. Uh -huh. Your storage. Okay. And this nice thing right here, and. That's really about it. Awesome. You're, you're done. It's, we've done a whole walkthrough from one side on the outside to the other and from the inside all the way around to the other. Yep. And you we did a really questions. We did a really thorough one. I spent an hour with Mike a couple days ago and we went through everything uh, really in detail. So uh, these guys have been really, really helpful and really great. So and Capone loves it here. Look at him. Yeah. Are you ready? It's a lot more comfy. Are you huh? ready for some new adventures? Um, so what do you think? Can you see me in this? I hope so, because you're gonna. <laughs> All right, uh, so um, the paperwork is done, so I'm gonna go in and no, finalize the paperwork. Huh? Oh. I'm talking to my camera. Gotcha. Eddie, this is really surprising me. You like it? I think you like the carpet, huh? Does it feel good? What do you think? You like our new home? Awesome. What do you think? All right, now I'm ready to do the hard work and move in. <laughs> Boy, that was a, a lot of work. You would think that moving 160 square feet into less than 160 square feet wouldn't be that hard, but when you don't have a lot of room to move around, uh, it's a little challenging, as you'll see in the videos to come. They may not be in order, so please be patient with me. I'm working hard and fast and trying to get these videos up for you because I know you're really interested in them. So be sure to subscribe to be notified when the moving in and all the other subsequent travels and adventures and um, fun in the new RV happens. <laughs> All right. Thanks for hanging with me. We'll see you next time. And in the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. See you soon.